Hello guys, what's up? Death Channel back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to access a web service within Visual Studio and C Sharp. So at first we are going to create a new project and we're making a simple Windows Forms application with the .NET Framework 4.5. We are choosing to name our web service Radar Web Service and we're saving it into the Visual Studio Projects folder. We're hitting OK. Uh, what we're going to do first is add some controls. We will need a button. The button will have the text. Let's call the button Show Weather. And the internal name, which is used by the program itself, will be PTN show weather. So when we double click on the button, we will jump directly into the click method, which is called when you click on the button on the form. Uh, what we're going to need now is we will need a web service. For this case, I'm going to start the Internet Explorer, switch to Google, and search for appropriate web service. So basically, we hit web service weather, and that should be fine. Um, we're getting the global weather web service, .NET. That sounds good. And we see here, it's possible that what we are looking for so we copy the URL that will be needed to add it to Visual Studio. What we're going to do now is add the service reference. So we hit reference, add, add reference. Oh, that was wrong. We must need service reference. Paste the URL, delete uh, the parameter to ASMX and hit go to. What we're going to see now is that Visual Studio found the web service, which is called Global Weather, and with three different interfaces. We are calling the namespace of the web service weather service, so it be it should be very easy to use it in the program itself. We're hitting OK. What we're going to see now is that the web service is added to our project. Uh, and we see here we can add the city name and the country name as properties to our web service. So for that case, we are going to add a text box, or in this case, two text boxes and two labels to show the user which data he enters. Uh, the first is the city. And the second uh, was the country. For internal usage, we will add tax box dx to bx uh, city. No, oh, yeah, city the first. And we will say the size of the tax box to width. We're going to add it. Two hundred and fifty, and the same for the country. So the user got a lot more space to, to enter his data. We're going to rename tax box uh, country. So those two fields are our input fields, and we want to enter. No, that basically is everything. We got no uh, preset here. Uh, we can make it a little bit smaller. Uh, what we want now is, or what we want also is, a result set. Uh, you know, we are entering city, country. We are hitting uh, show weather, and we want to display the result. So we are putting in a label, which only says result, and then we are putting in another label next to it, 
which actually stores the result and we call it LBL result. All right. So if we're going back there, what we do now uh, is to call our web service, which we uh, have called the weather service. We are going to use the global soap client. So we initialize a new soap client and we are good to go. What we're doing now is we are calling client and get weather method. We are now using our two uh, text boxes in our input, text box city and text property and the text box. Oh, I misspelled it. It's not the county, it's the country, but I believe this should be very, very clear for you guys. Uh, what we are doing here is this web service is synchronous. So we are getting the response directly. We do not have an asynchronous fallback for success for our messages and so on. So we're getting the response directly from our get rather method. And the last point is in our other result, we're setting the text property with our response. So press the run button. Now we're good to go. We are hitting run. We are saying the city is Berlin and the country is Germany. Now we're hit show better. And we got an exception. The exception says uh, the global weather soap could not be loaded because there are more endpoint configurations. Uh, this is a problem in the creation of the browser. So we're reading into our app.config file. And yeah, we are seeing there are two global weather soap endpoints. And yeah, these is where you delete the unnecessary, the second one. They're both calling on the same endpoint. So we should be fine if we are firing it again. Berlin. Germany. And now we're hitting show weather. And we're getting a result. Uh, we see not directly the weather. We're seeing there are at the moment on the 1st September 2015 p.m. The local time is not shown, I believe, because it must be. Yeah. Uh, okay. But we are now getting a 16 degree Celsius or 6 degree Fahrenheit in Berlin. Uh, we're getting a response as an XML. So if we're using data, uh, we have to deserialize the XML. But for this example, this should be fine. Uh, you've seen how to add um, service reference with our web service. We have search for web service. It's very easy. Visual Studio does the magic. Visual Studio creates our, our method. In this case, get weather. We're putting in the parameters and we're getting a response. That is basically everything magic in the web service core. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you helped you. I helped you a lot, and I would be appreciate every support for you. Hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any wishes for further videos or future videos, please let me know. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.